Good morning guys and welcome to the weekend vlog. It has been quite a while since I've done a weekend vlog, almost a year I think. So there's really no rhyme or reason for that, uh, but this weekend I figured that I would try and give it a go and see how things are around the house. So it is just Gus and I at home this weekend. John is home, but home at like midnight. Um, he is coaching wrestling and their season is wrapping up. Um, so he is traveling for those um, regional tournaments. So that is what's going on with John. Clearly Gus has gotten a lot bigger since you probably last saw him in a vlog. He is a big boy and he thinks that he's a lap dog even though he is 60 pounds now. So that is, that is what's going on around here. I am going to try to do my makeup if you will allow me. Um, and I'm going to try the tinted hydrator that I talked about in my um, Sunday shopping haul from last weekend. Picked this up at Target, I've heard really good things. So I need to go wash my hands because Gus has been licking them as I've been sitting here and getting ready to turn on the camera. So I'm gonna go do that and we'll chat while I do my makeup. So I definitely haven't vlogged in a while because I thought that I was filming the entire makeup routine Turns out I was not. So here are all of the products that I use on my look today. So like I said, I use the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. We've talked about that already. Application went pretty well, went on smoothly. I did use a, a brush to blend it all together. So we'll see how it wears throughout the rest of the day, but it's pretty sheer overall. It didn't um, you know, have major coverage, which is not expected at all, but I covered the things that I wanted it to. For the under eye area, I'm using this Milani Supercharged Eye Brightener along with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I really, really like this and highly recommend it if you need a little extra hydration under your eyes. That's a really good concealer for you to try out. For the rest of my face, I just have blush and highlighter on. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I have it in the shade Hope. It was like a little trio mini gift set around Christmas time at Sephora. And this um, highlighter stick is new for me. It's from a brand I'm not familiar with. It's called Merit. And it is the Kava Highlighting Balm. So it's just a little highlighting stick there. And then I just took my finger, because they were clean. Um, I just took my fingers and patted it on the tops of my cheekbones to give them a little extra glow. And finally, I did eyebrows. I used my e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Taupe, I believe it's Taupe. I've, yep, I've had this one for quite a while. I need to repurchase it. Super cheap and is really quick to put on. And then for eyeliner, I have a Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in the shade Semi Sweet, so a dark chocolate. And then I have been using the Ulta Beauty New Heights Mascara for a couple of weeks now. And a lot of people are talking about this on TikTok. It is not a revolutionary mascara by any means. It's a good mascara and it doesn't flake or transfer for me. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about it. It's good, but I'll be excited to try another one once this one finishes up. So I think that's everything that I got. I did finish off with a little Rimmel Stay Matte powder and that's the makeup look that I wanted to show you going on, but We'll just move on with the rest of the vlog. Hey bud, you ready for the rest of our day? Yeah, let's go downstairs.
So I got the kitchen all tidied up as well as the family room. That's looking a whole lot better. I've got the couch cover in the wash right now. We wash that every weekend just so that it stays nice and clean for the week ahead. Gus is climbing my leg off, buddy, um, because he likes to scale the couch, much to my dismay. So we keep the couch cover on, protects our furniture, keeps it from getting just filthy dirty. And I like that we can wash that every single week. Um, yesterday after work, I went to Home Goods. So obviously I went to Home Goods last weekend because I posted a quick video about my shopping haul, but that was a different location. And I think that the one I went to yesterday has better dog stuff. So let me show you what I got for Gus's Valentine's bag. So these are the treats that I got him last weekend. Bachi's Bakery is our favorite. I've mentioned it a lot. This is the strawberries are red and I love you. I thought that was so cute. So they just do like a themed bag for each month or season. And so they only had that one last weekend at the other Home Goods. And now I found these one. Bananas are sweet and I love you. So that's bananas and bacon. And if you hear honking, Gus is over there with a honking toy. And then this one is the blueberries are blue, which he loves blueberries so those are super cute so those are going to be his in his valentine's bag these ones we are just going to use all the time there's some dried sweet potato fries that he really likes and we break those up on walks i also got this one i'm not sure when i'm going to give it to him maybe easter i don't know that's a little far away we'll probably end up using him sooner than that but i also got a second bag for my sister's dog just for his little valentine's little Valentine's treat. And then this one is definitely springtime. Apples and cheese and it's got like cute little flowers. I'm such a sucker for packaging. Um, but this one is apples, cheese, and honey for spring. So we got all those treats. Again, one of these bags is for my sister's dog, Max. And then this is clearly not for Valentine's, but how cute is that? So this is the Tootie's brand, <laughs> look at the little golden with the bunnies. This is the Tootie's brand, um, no stink, tooting sound toys. And I thought this chick was so cute for springtime. So he actually has a Tootie's toy right now. He might run away from me. But what he's got right now is like a little hot chocolate cup. And so it just kind of grunts as he plays with it and um, we used to have a piggy that did the same thing but I think that he ripped a hole in that one but he loves these Tootie's toys and Max his cousin my sister's dog loves them too and he will Max will bang them up against your knee to make them toot <laughs> so he really likes those and um, I think he'll like that one for springtime and I just checked my phone and saw a notification that our Chewy order was here. I didn't get a whole lot, just a couple of um, things that we needed to restock on, but I did see that they were having a sale on their Valentine's toys. So I got Gus this pack of three tennis balls because he's starting to love, no pun intended, um, starting to love to play fetch. I don't know if that was a pun, but you know, you get it. But he also... I think he deserves a little toy for Valentine's and not just too many treats. This one is Kong brand and it is just like this knotted little bear with a couple of patches on him. And I just thought he was cute. I didn't want to get too many Valentine's things because it's only, you know, one season, one month. But the tennis balls he goes through so quickly, it doesn't really matter to me. And I think they were like a dollar or two for that. So that is Gus's haul. He's waiting here like, Mom, when are you going to give those to me? on Monday, buddy. You just have to wait like two more days. Will that work for you? Before I bring the towels upstairs to fold, I wanted to show you our guest room that is coming along. You've probably seen this background in a couple of my recent videos, but this bed frame we actually got for free. Um, our neighbors are just incredibly generous. They're always posting on our neighborhood Facebook page about things they're giving away for free. And this was a Pottery Barn bed frame. And I just think it looks so beautiful in here. I mean, it's in like perfect condition. Um, and I just thought it was so pretty. Now the mattress and everything we purchased and had ourselves, but it's just this really cute, it's almost like an off-white matte 
frame. Um, I'm pretty sure that when I looked this up, it was discontinued, but I think it was originally part of, I guess, it was a part of PB Teen. But you really wouldn't know that. So this is our guest room. Um, I am trying to, hang on, let me get the dog. We are slowly just trying to put our guest bedroom together so that when we have guests, it's ready to go. The bedding I am working on as well. So the pillowcases and the coverlet here I got from a local antique store. It was a brand new set, so it's never been used. Um, but I will have to look at the tags and see if I can find it. If I can, I will link it down below. But I know that I could link this for you. I got a couple, I got it a couple months ago, but it's from Walmart. It's their Better Homes and Gardens line, and it is just this white, cozy knit throw. But it is a total dupe for the Barefoot Dreams blanket. So if you've ever had one of those before or felt how cozy those blankets are, they're very luxurious. And this definitely came at a nice low price. So I do have one of the Barefoot Dreams. I keep it in our master bedroom but I wanted our guests to have something cozy as well. So I've just left it wrapped up like this because I thought it was so pretty, um, which would be great to gift to someone. But that is staying in here until I need to wash it for our first guest. And then this piece, I don't think I've shared before either. It is a pie chest um, or pie safe, I think they're called. I got it from the same antique store that I got the bedding at. And I just think it is so pretty and it fit this little space here in between our windows really nicely. So it has a little drawer down at the bottom. I don't think we have anything in there right now, but we are going to use it to store some extra linens and things for our guests when they come over. Right now I've put like some soap in here. I've got our towels and then extra pillowcases and blankets on the other side. So that's what I intend to use this for. That might change over time, but I just think it's so cute and pretty um, and a different way to use an antique piece like this. So clearly not using it for pie, but I love how it looks in this really light and bright and airy space. We just got back from a nice little walk outside. It is beautiful today. It's 54 degrees, which is pretty uncharacteristic for our area this time of year, um, but we are enjoying it for sure. And Gus loves being outside. So we played fetch in the backyard a little bit, although our grass is gonna need a lot of help, <laughs> a lot of help this spring because he has just torn it up, running back and forth and playing. But I like being able to play with him outside. Hate having him cooped up in the winter time, so. But when I was coming back in, I decided to check the mailbox and I got something that I've been waiting on. It is this tea recycling kit from the company Marine Lair. It's their respun program. And I ordered this about a month ago. I don't think I had to pay any shipping or pay anything for the kit itself. But I was doing a bunch of winter clean out. This is not the big pile of t-shirts that I have to donate to this program. Um, they are hidden somewhere else that I have to go grab, but I found that pile to start. And basically it says you put all your old teas of any kind into this prepaid mailer, and then they're gonna break them down and recycle them into super soft teas that they sell. Um, and I think that you get a coupon or you get something back when you actually participate in the program. But when I was cleaning out all these t-shirts, I knew that um, landfills across the world are just piling up with excess textiles. Um, so I just wanted a better way to dispose of them. I do rip them up and use them as cleaning cloths sometimes and all kinds of other things. Um, I use them for Gus every now and then for cleaning him off, but um, sometimes they are just piling up in our house as well. So I really like this idea. I'm going to get John to clean out some of his t-shirts as well before we send that back in the mail on Monday. I'm currently cleaning our bedspreads. So that's why the protector is on there. 
And then Amazon came and I ordered this thing called the Cup Claw. And this little gadget, I really hope helps me out because it is supposed to make putting the bra pads and inserts into your sports bras and swimsuits a heck of a lot easier. And I love these sports bras from Target. They're from the brand All In Motion. I can't remember what the exact style is, but it's a medium support sports bra and I'll link it down below. I have it in several colors, but the only thing is, is that when I put them on, I always find that these are like bunched up and sometimes I just deal with it, but I really wanna see if this works. So let's go ahead and read the directions on the back. All right, so I moved up to my craft table so you could see this a little bit better. So there's two things you can do with the cup claw. The first one is obviously to take the bra pad or insert out of your garment and the other one is to put it back in, which is the most challenging part, of course. So let's try to grab this. And it has like little teeth all on it so that it actually picks up and doesn't slip off. So that was super easy. And then let's try to put it back on. So the directions say that if you had a bra pad that had like a flat bottom and it was just kind of curved, you would want to leave that like this. Um, but mine is a full triangle, so we'll see how it goes. So you lay it down open and then you wrap the sides around the clip, I guess, and clamp it down. And then we're gonna try to wiggle it back in on this side. And like I said, this is always the most frustrating part of cleaning your swimsuits and sports bras. So usually I'm sitting there forever trying to do this and wiggle it back around and get it to unfold, but this seems like it worked pretty well. So I would say that that's really smooth. I could even use it to smooth it out a little bit more if I had like a couple of bumps in there, but I would recommend this tool. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not going to solve all your problems and you're still going to have to wiggle it around like I did obviously, but if putting your bra pads back into your tops has been super annoying, like it has been for me, you might check this out on Amazon. I will link it down below. And Dessie is looking pretty tired, so I think we're gonna take a little rest before we get started on dinner for the evening and wrap up some of our laundry. So I got in a nice workout before dinner. I don't think that I've mentioned it here before, but we did purchase a Peloton back in October, I think it arrived the first week of November. So I've been wanting to do a video about that, but for today, hello Gus, for today I just did my workout and Gus was watching over me as I worked out to make sure all went well. Um, but for dinner tonight, I'm having a big salad. Hang on, gotta get the dog again. Like this is just unreal. He is super clingy when John is not around. Um, for dinner tonight, I'm having a big salad, which I've already chopped up. Gus loves when I make salad because he is such a big fan of salad. Like he will eat the lettuce, I'll give him the cucumber, the carrot, obviously no tomatoes. I know exactly what he can and cannot have. And when I'm in doubt, I say, hey Google, can dogs have peppers? In this instance, the answer is yes. Bell peppers pack a punch when it comes to nutritional value for both you and your furry friend. They're not hey Google, toxic, stop. They... So that's what I do. Um, but for tonight, the dressing that I'm having with our salad, I made in this OXO brand little shaker. And it is from this Pioneer Woman Super Easy Cookbook. Let me turn you around. So in the dressing, I will try to find the recipe online and link it below if I can. Um, all in all, it's got mostly olive oil and then it's got balsamic glaze in there, Italian seasoning, a tablespoon of sugar, salt and pepper to your taste. I go low on the salt, um, three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and then some white wine vinegar. I think it was a quarter cup, but it is a delicious dressing. I just made this one a couple hours ago, so um, I think it just gets better and better as it sits in there. And then there's my salad. Got some steak that John grilled. And this is the lettuce that I really like to use. It's from Costco. Is their artisan romaine. So there were five heads in here, but they're not very big at all. So like here's my 
hand for reference. I use about three of those in my salad. Obviously, I'm going to take the paper towels out, just trying to drain all the water off of everything. But I love that lettuce. It is so good. It stays really crisp. Um, and it's nice, too, because if I just want a little bowl of salad um, and I don't already have, like, a big top salad made, I will just pull one of those out, and it's the perfect portion just for me because John doesn't really care for salad. So this will be mine for the next three to four days and I'm trying to eat a salad before every meal. That is my goal to add more greens into my food. Good morning, it's Sunday and I'm still being jumped on by Gus. I don't know what this pattern of behavior is but he has definitely been acting a little squirrely um, lately so I don't know what's up with that, but John got home around 9.45 last night, so he had plenty of time to hang out with John before he went to bed, and he just, John just left to go get some groceries. Um, it is Super Bowl Sunday. We did not have any plans for this evening up until about an hour ago when our neighbors invited us over to their house to munch on some snacks and watch the game. So John's definitely going to go over there. I'm going to go over for a little bit and then come back home to hang out with Gus because um, I think I said this yesterday, he's been having not only all this energy, but he's been having some anxiety with us leaving the house. So that is our plan for this evening. And right now I'm taking a look at my office because I have these beautiful built-in shelves um, that I've just kind of started to place things on. I wouldn't say they were thrown on, um, except for these two little vases or jars that I picked up at Home Goods. Um, this week so those two things are new but the rest of it I've just been like mixing stuff around um, and I'm just not loving the way that it looks I think that there needs to be some bigger items on the shelves and I want to work on hiding these cords and items down there that is my record player I need to move that elsewhere it's just too big for the shelf anyway but the um, internet stuff that's all right there. I wanna get like a basket that I can put all the cords in, that way it looks really nice, um, and then I can do the same thing over on the other side, I guess. Um, our printer is right there, which is tricky. It's a good spot for it, because there's clearly an outlet right next to it, but it hangs off of that space as well. And I thought I could put like a little printer stand here, um, haven't found one yet that is shallow enough because the space between the wall and my desk is, you know, there just isn't a whole lot. So I'm kind of right now just like dreaming up what I want to do with this space, but I really need to take everything off of the shelves and dust it off. So I'm going to take care of that and then we'll see what I decide to do with all the pieces on it. So it's been about half an hour and here is the progress that I've made. I've definitely put lots of things up, taken a step back and then come back to rearrange or decided I didn't like it where it was at all. And I've also ransacked the house for all kinds of other things, um, pulling things from different spaces. So we're just gonna, we're probably gonna leave this where it is right now. Um, I don't wanna force things into this space. I really do want it to be something that I'm happy with, that I like looking at. So even though it's imbalanced and it's gonna drive me nuts for a little bit, I might leave these two shelves empty. So we'll see. But this was a little vintage find. The ampersand um, was actually with two other letters, a P and a J, and those were at our wedding. 
So I'm gonna leave the ampersand just by itself for now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the P and the J yet, but I can find a different spot for them. Um, some Lauren Conrad books, this clock actually needs a new battery, but it was a gift when I graduated college. This vase is a smaller size that I got from Home Goods recently. Um, and then I've had this Home Goods quote from Walt Disney for a while. And I grabbed this little candlestick and vase. Vases from Grandma's house candlestick is vintage. And then I have a pretty little um, plant there. That one is real. It's a mini fiddle leaf fig. And then I have a couple of vintage books as well as Joanna Gaines' Homebody. And then before I go over there, I found these vintage bookends on one of my adventures. And instead of putting the books with the spine out, I decided to do them with the spine backwards. And I think I like that better. I don't love all of the books that I have here. I really like this gold, um, this gold one. That was a vintage find. This is, um, what is it? When the Crawdad Sings or Where the Crawdad Sings. I can't remember which how the title goes, but I just have a couple other books in here. This is actually our wedding guest book. So I think I'm going to switch some of those out over time, but I think that looks really pretty. And then down there, I didn't touch anything with my records and my microphone quite yet. Over here, I grabbed these faux plants from my garden bench that I have in our um, formal sitting room, which isn't very formal. It's cozy and comfy, but these are all fake. Um, and I think I have, oh, I thought I had a sticker on them. Um, those are all fake and I just like the green and that I don't have to worry about them too much. I might eventually replace them with something that's real. And then over here, vintage bottle from grandma's house. This is an Etsy print that my sister got me several years ago. Um, I'm sure it's still available though. And then grandma's house and some flowers from my grandfather's memorial. And then I have a box of note cards, a picture that I desperately need to change of John and I, that is from high school. I'm so bad at printing photos. And then a pretty painting we got for our wedding um, from Washington, DC. And then there's the larger size of that vase that I got at Home Goods. And then, like I said, down here, haven't really touched this area or the one over there. So I definitely wanna get some baskets for that zone and then hopefully figure out what to do with this printer. It's convenient in the office and it's not really a big deal because it's in the far corner and you can't really see it when you walk in. But here's all of the stuff, my dirty, dusty uh, paper towel there. Here's all the stuff that I did not put back up. I love my pin board. I just got this for Christmas and I put all kinds of um, cute little pins on it. These are, this is not the full collection. I just wanted something small to display a few pins at one time. So I kind of figure out like how to prop this up with something else or maybe I'll get like a little cookbook stand or mini, mini stand for it. But I thought those were really cute. I think I'm gonna move this little wooden sign upstairs into my studio. I've got several candles, which I can always find a spot for those. Um, I love this Peter Pan quote. I might actually paint this with white chalk paint. I did the white chalk paint with my graduation frame, which clearly my diploma <laughs> has not made its way in there yet. I need to get that um, fixed up sometime soon and put in there. And then I just have all of these things books from work, a little vintage jewelry holder. I just grabbed a vase, don't know why. This is cute. So as you can see, I have a bunch of little knickknacks and things, like my Aloha Elvis from our honeymoon. Um, but overall, I like how it's looking now. I think it's a lot more balanced, well-balanced, and I think it'll get there over time. I read recently that people will often rush when they are trying to decorate a new home or their current existing home because they want it to look beautiful right away. And I'm one of those people who really wants that, but I am realizing that the more time I take to curate a space, the happier I'll be.
It is now 5.30 and I took a quick trip over to my sister's house to drop off those good boy treats for um, her dog Max, the ones that I showed from Home Goods. And now we are getting ready to go over to our neighbors. I don't know if I said this earlier, but they invited us last minute over to their house just for some Super Bowl snacks and to watch the game. So I made um, my mom's yummy famous meatballs. So they are heating up in the crock pot and I have another batch that is currently in the oven. So, um, so we're gonna wait until those are done, put those in the crock pot and bring that over. But there are a couple things that um, I just finished up with in my office and then here in the family room. So I figured I'd show you those before we go. So remember how I said I was pulling a bunch of things from other areas? I pulled from the mantle. Um, I've pulled some eucalyptus stems and a big um, blue kind of glass jar. That has gone up in the guest room. I pulled a couple of little bottles and things from this stack of books, that gray vase that's in my office, pulled from here as well. So I'm just kind of redoing everything, but it's fun to change your house up and, you know, get creative with all the stuff you already own so that when it's time, it's time for um, spring shopping, you know what you wanna get. But I've had real candlesticks in these candle holders for over a year and I've never lit them. They were kind of just more for show. So I finally bought these little faux candlesticks on Amazon and the actual base of it is wax, but the little light, of course, is fake. So it comes with a little remote that you can change the setting to like a flicker or you can just have it be a steady light. Um, so it's on the flicker right now and then you can lower the brightness and whatnot. But let me show you the one in my office because something is a little off. So this poor candle is just, I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't think that this is what it's supposed to be like given how bright the other two are. And it's not just because it's still got a little daylight in here because I took the clicker and turned it on and off. I turned the brightness all the way up, all the way down, and I don't see much change from this state. So I think something's wrong. I might have to send them back or put in a request with Amazon to get like a new set sent over, but I do like them. I think that they're really cool and add a little glow and comfort to the home. So um, over here, I just added this little white house. I took it off of our hutch that is in our dining room that I have all decorated similar to these shelves. I thought that that house was cute and that was from Target Dollar Spot. They have these little matte ceramic houses all the time and this also has a little light, but I think I need to get a battery for it. So that is the only thing I added. I temporarily had this little jewelry box, vintage jewelry box up there, but I think I'm gonna need to find another spot for it. And then there were a couple of books that I didn't put on the shelf down here because I'm actively reading them or one and then the other one I'm gonna save for another time. So this is the one that I'm currently reading right now. It is from the Sweet Magnolia series. It's actually the first one of the series. Um, but if you've seen Sweet Magnolias on Netflix, um, they actually have a book series and they advertise that in the opening credits. But I fell in love with the series about two weeks ago. I'm almost done season two. I'll probably finish it this week, but there are 11 books in this series. So it's crossing my fingers that I would enjoy it. And I'm only like through chapter two, but it's really, really good. And I hope that it's just as good as the TV series. I'm sure it will be. So I'm reading that right now. And then I had a work trip a few weeks ago and on my way to Florida, which is where I had to travel, um, I was listening to an Audible book that I kind of just purchased last minute on a whim because I had some Audible credits that I needed to use up before I canceled my subscription because I honestly don't listen to audiobooks a whole lot. But this really caught my eye. I love the description of it. And so far, well, when I was listening to it on the plane, I just loved it. So um, I'll let you read the descriptions for both of these on Amazon because I'm sure they do a much better job than I would at describing what the books are all about. But I like the title, Mastering the Art of French Eating, because Mastering the Art of French Cooking was Julia Child's cookbook title. So um, if you like just 
anything that has to do with cooking and eating, <laughs> which I think would probably be a lot of people, I think you would enjoy this book. So I'm gonna save this one for spring break, which will be coming up in April, because honestly, it'll take me that long to get through this one. And this is more books than I've ever read in a single year. I usually don't make time for books, but I'm finding that it's really something I enjoy once I find a good book, like these two. And if you were wondering where all of the items that were once on my desk, where all that stuff went, it's here. It's on this little buffet antique server that I have in the back corner of my office. So I've got stuff under there I need to throw away and organize, but that will be a project to be continued next weekend. But I haven't totally ruled out that all of this stuff isn't going on the shelves. A lot of it probably won't just because I'm doing more of a neutral palette. So like these bright things I can put away. Like I said, this sign I'm gonna take upstairs, but it's just gonna hang out here for one more week or so until I figure out where it's going to go around the house. So I think that's gonna do it for the weekend vlog. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, because like I said, I know it's been a really long time since I've picked up the camera for a weekend. Um, it's hard to do during the weekday honestly, because most of my time is spent working. And then when I get home, it's the same routine of working out, resting, cooking dinner, uh, wash, rinse, and repeat, and do it again. So, um, but if you enjoyed the weekend vlog, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. But I hope that you had lots of fun yesterday on Super Bowl Sunday, technically today when I'm filming this, and I hope you have a great Valentine's Day as well. So we will see you guys next time. Bye.